Avast Free Antivirus 2017, incorporating technology from AVG, Cyber Capture, and a plethora of other features. Let's put it to the test against some malware and see what it's worth. This is Leo, and you are watching the PC Security Channel. As you can see from here, we are using default settings, apart from the fact that I have enabled the scan for potentially unwanted programs. The definitions are fully up to date, and we're using version 17.2.2288, the latest version as of now. So without further ado, let's get started with a short link test. Our first URL has a very honest file name. No kidding, shit.exe. Let's see if Avast allows us to have that on our computer. Has been detected. Threat has been detected. Not really, and it is quite vocal about it, so this threat has been blocked. For our convenience though, I'm going to mute the audio. Not everyone's a fan of Avast's detection sounds. Link number two claims to be an image, although it's an exe file. We'll just do what a naive user would, that is save and run it. Unless a vast stops us, that is. And it does. So far so good. Here's another recent malware. And it is blocked. Before it even fully downloaded, so... That's quite sharp from a vast. This one is blocked before the page even loaded, so that's a website block. And now for our final link. We'll save this one as an exe2. That's no good, because Avast blocks it. This appears to be some kind of adware. So that was a very smooth link test. We didn't see anything even get close to loading up. Now I'm going to bring in the more challenging part, that is our malicious files. Before that I'll just temporarily disable the shields. Alright, now we have our malware friends in here. There are 525 of these. Right click context menu scan. This is how we're going to figure out the detection ratio for this folder. I'm assuming the scan is a lot more in depth because it took about 10 times more time as compared to the previous version. Also, threat detected. I think Avast has an issue with plurals now. Come on, how did this get past beta without the GUI designers noticing? Anyway, here's the long list of uh, nasties that we have in the folder. I'm just going to delete everything. Simple and effective. Now let's check what's left. 34 items, which gives us a detection ratio of 93.5%, which is pretty good given our sample set. Now I'm going to go ahead and run these files to see if Avast Zero Day defenses can kick in and prevent these unknown files from actually doing any damage. As you can see, everything's turned on now. We're getting a lot of these, this app cannot run on your PC alerts. This one is uh, being analyzed, and I guess that's what caused it to crash. And I can't seem to be able to get any of these other files to run on this system for some reason. So I guess that's the end of the test. Avast did a really good job in protecting us from all kinds of malware, and I can tell you that the folder we used had a very high concentration of ransomware. However, before you jump in and grab a copy for yourself, I want to discuss a few things. First of all, um, Avast is not necessarily the most privacy-friendly company, 
as you would expect it being a free antivirus product it does have some things that you may or may not like depending on your preferences now i just want to clarify that i don't have anything against cross-funding that's how this channel works as well and i don't want to take anything away from people who are using it ethically while still keeping their best interests in mind but as a user i would strongly recommend that you check out their privacy policy before you use their product and i would also recommend that you turn off a few things here that you may not want for example by default avast enables the email signature which means every email you send will have some kind of Avast advertising text at the bottom or just saying that you're secured by Avast. Not everyone's a fan of that. Now again, they do have a few annoying adware-ish policies like, uh, yeah, welcome gifts that are basically marketing promotion gimmicks and performance tuning apps, which really are just ways to get you to drop a few dimes for no great service. But let's just say some of their practices aren't necessarily my favorite. But again, that's subjective. It depends on you. As long as you're okay with it, protection-wise, it's a thumbs up. Also, technically, an important feature of this version is cyber capture, which is just a fancy word for cloud-based analysis, something a lot of AV companies have been doing. But here's the thing. Avast is trying to move more and more of their technologies to the cloud. And this has two benefits. The first thing, it improves performance on the user computer. And also, it keeps their technology a secret since the analysis is done in the back end. Which means malware authors cannot predict what's going on and write malware to bypass it accordingly. I really like that, but at the same time I have concerns that that kind of makes this a more responsive process than a proactive process. As far as I know though, most actions I think are halted until the analysis or the, at least the initial analysis is complete. So it should be a great way of blocking zero day threats. That's all I have from here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you did and subscribe to the PC security channel if you want to see more informative and exciting content. Thank you for watching and as always, stay informed, stay secure.